Hey there everyone, it's Chris Mack. On today's episode of Chris's Kit, I want to talk about the knife that started a small debate over on my channel a few months ago, and that is the Ganzo Firebird. Let's go tabletop. So this is the Ganzo Firebird. The blade length is three and a half inches. It is made of 440C steel. It does have the G lock, which is this little pinch back here, and close that up. It's got this little bit of jimping here on the back. It's got a very nice pocket clip on here. And then it is a tip-up carry configuration. At the end of the day, what do I think of the Ganzo Firebird as a standalone knife and not comparing it to the Benchmade 940? First, we'll get there though. All in all, for the price point, I like it. It was, at the time I bought it, it was under $20. And it's got really good grip here on the scales. It's got some nice jimping on the back of the scales here, which is just the right point for it. I don't feel like I need it on the blade. It's got a smooth opening action to it. It's got this robust clip. All in all, for the price, I think it's a pretty darn good knife. The only complaint I would definitely say that I do have about it is that every so often the thumb stud, I do have to tighten that up just a bit. But I like it. I mean, it's, it's even sharp. But now let's compare it to the 940 and why I would highly recommend you getting one of these before buying a 940. Emphasis on before and not instead of. So here's the thing. Why did I buy this? For me, the Benchmade 940 has been a grail knife for me for probably the last six or eight months or so. I went to my local gun range, also sells knives. They had one in the case. I was like, hey, can I take a look at that? I drooled over it for a solid 10 minutes. But I wasn't completely sold on, and I just checked. On Amazon right now, they've got three different versions of it, and they range from 160 to 230 bucks for a Benchmade 940. But playing with a knife for 10 minutes at the gun counter, or if the person behind the counter really likes you, maybe 20 minutes, is not the same as carrying something for two, three weeks. And I carried this knife for a full two weeks before I finally gave, hey, these, this is my actual two cents on it. And here's the thing. This knife has the G lock, which is just different terminology than the Benchmade 940 access lock. That That's all it is. It's the same lock, it's just different terminology. And before we get to that too, one more thing. I don't think this is an exact copy of a 940. It's it's not exactly the same. The, the scales themselves are flat. The 940 has got some contour to it, so that way it fills your hand a little bit more and you can get some more purchase on that knife. It's definitely, the Benchmade's definitely a little better quality and all. However, why did I buy this rather than the 940? Because until purchasing this, I've never carried on a daily basis anything that has a variation of the access lock. And I didn't know if I liked it. And I'm very happy to say that after carrying this thing for two weeks straight, that I can say with the utmost confidence and without a shadow of a doubt that I personally despise the access lock. That's just me. You don't have to agree. If I offended anybody, I'm sorry. <laughs> but my personal opinion, I don't like the access lock. It's not for me. And I am so very happy that I found that out by buying a $20 knife and carrying it for two weeks rather than spending between $160 and $230 on a knife and then finding out two weeks in, I hate this thing. <laughs> Especially being a grail knife. I could only imagine the letdown I would have of like, if this is it, I've got it, I've got it, I've got my grail knife, awesome! And two weeks later going, this sucks! <laughs> so, and why do I dislike the Axis lock? It's not that I don't think it's a smooth lock opening. I really like that aspect. And closing it is not all that difficult. You, you, you pinch down, you close it. However, I don't feel like... I personally am all that safe closing this one-handed. Can I do it? Yeah, you, you pull down and you do this little flip thing and you can do it. And 
not in front of the camera. I can do better at this if I'm really concentrating on it. However, for the two weeks I carried this, I cut myself at least five times trying to figure out how to close this one-handed. And at the end of the day, the only way I felt comfortable closing it is two-handed, either pulling it closed like that or closing and then putting it up against my shoulder or the back of my leg or something like that. I do not feel like the access lock is a safe method of one hand closing this knife. And for me, a work knife, something that I'm really going to use frequently, I want to be able to open it one handed and close it one handed. So there you go. That's my overall opinion on this. It's not that I think, oh, this is, this is a uh, Benchmade knockoff and you should do it. No, I wanted a cheap way to test out hands-on long-term an access lock and again, I'm glad I did. If you want to try the access lock on a budget, then I do highly recommend this. And if you're looking for just a budget knife that you can beat on, then I also highly recommend this because this will probably end up living in the glove box of my truck from now on because like I said, it's personally just not for me, but it's a good knife. And if you would like to get one of these, I'm going to go ahead and put the link below down in the description. And it is an affiliate link. Anytime you use an affiliate link, I do get a little bit of kickback, but it does not cost you anything extra. It just helps keep this channel going. So if you do use that link, I do greatly appreciate it. All of that said, thank you so much for watching this review. Have a good rest of your uh, day. And as always, it's Chris Mack.